It is a lightweight bout between the prodigy BJ Penn and Jeremy Stevens. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, D.C., and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 28 wins, 19 losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Jeremy Little Heathen Stevens. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 14 losses, and two draws. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Wanaku, Hilo, Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion and former UFC welterweight champion, the Prodigy, B.J. Penn! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He would appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. A lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Stevens is uppercut, but that one is blocked.
Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, as usual, this outstanding striker has come out aggressively tonight, almost as if he's double parked outside. Dude's trying to get the job done and get it done quickly. But he doesn't waste any action. Everything is so tight and crisp. That's why he lands, he lands, and he can be so aggressive. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Stevens gets caught with that punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Try to establish that jab. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high to the point. I thought he was going low. But now he's got to hurt very badly. Oh! Stevens' lower jaw now started to show signs of struggle. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Again, a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Seeing everything coming. Lands with the right hand. Oh man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing: it does not feel good. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Oh, he oh. Out. he's out. He got it. Oh my goodness, what a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near-perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 26 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, the Prodigy! 